Good morning, good afternoon. Uh, welcome for another episode of Watercolor Instructions. So if you, this is a three part series. The first two parts I've covered cars, trucks, trams, and trains. This is a third part, which I'm gonna attempt doing some motorcycles, scooters, and bicycles. And trust me, of all the three things I feel the challenging bit is doing a bike and a motorcycle as well. So part one, there is some few minutes of video on how to draw perspective. I think it's very important for you to understand perspective if you want to do some justice to cars and trucks and trams or any vehicles in the cityscape, uh, especially where it highlights in a bike or a cycle, trying to know which angle. Uh, I'm going to attempt and then show you a few simple sketches. Again, keep in mind these are sketches, they're not illustrations. These are, these are building blocks for cityscapes. So they will look as a part of the city. So you want to have some sort of perspective attached to it. Hit the like button and the notification and consider subscribing the video if you haven't already done. And then let's go to the show. So a few images I've put in. These are from different places. Uh, maybe if I do one or two from the back. So this one requires uh, human element. If you haven't done people before, this is a good exercise to do both people and person. And again, I'm not going to cover all the images shown in the picture, but few. Uh, for starters, oh, I'm using just a 0 0.70 pencil and I'm, I have two or three synthetic brushes. These are Jackson synthetic brush. These are cheap synthetic brush, but they do well. And on my right, I have a John Pike palette. Uh, if you want details on what colors I use, let me know and then I can post that picture for you. The colors are not as important for this exercise as long as you understand the tone and then also the value. Okay, so simple motorbike. So there's a person sitting. All I'm doing is the helmet. And this is from the back. So these are, there's a headlight, there's a number plate, there's a guard, and there's a tire. And a bit of detail. Then there's an exhaust, and you can see it. Excuse me, you'll see a little bit of the front tire. So that would be a first simple intro and the next one as we go into the second image i'm going to do a little bit of scooter maybe i can do a slightly bigger one uh, there's a lady on the cycle so to understand cycle so you want to understand perspective so the cycle if i break down cycle cycle could be split into three squares that's square one square two Obviously, that's that's a cycle, yes. And if I'm doing a painting in a slightly different perspective, same thing. There is three squares. So the first square, the second square. Third square and that would give you another cycle. It doesn't matter if you use that particular concept, it doesn't matter which perspective the cycle is. Obviously, I'm exaggerating a little bit. So you get that's a cycle. So in this case, the woman she's got a little bit of luggage in the back and she's got a cycle probably in that particular angle. I'll adjust it to that size. So that's one. That's a second. And So 
so that's a simple sketch with a cycle and there's somebody in the scooter the scooter I'm not drawing it to the scale I just want you to have an understanding of so scooter Also, you can see at the back. So that would be one example. The other one, if it's is a little bit of side perspective, if that's a scooter, so that's an engine. Bear with me, I'm just adding a little more detail so that the person looks. And the handle. that would be something on the side bicycle standing in the that one is a really good photo I think it, I took it from some newspaper clip having people standing in different perspective so just focus on the people so that's the first guy so the handle The cycle obviously is in that perspective. So there's the first tire, the second tire, and there's too much noise over there. I would just leave it and I'll fill it. That's the first, first guy. The second guy is obviously a rectangle. So he's got his bike shot and he's got a cycle in that angle. And the third one bicycle is literally very small angle so for this particular exercise probably I'm going to use a, a black watercolor pencil just to draw the tires it's a lot more easier and so on and so forth I'll do one more person and then we'll call it which for the cycle so this one is dead center that's it and let's do a couple more of bikes from the side and the bike from the back okay the scooter there's uh, from the bike there's a helmet okay so there's a number plate there's a mudguard that's a tire
that's a guy from the front. We'll exaggerate, we'll add a mirror. Sorry, we didn't add a mirror. Mirror. Let's add maybe a indicator lights just to exaggerate a little bit. And let's do one from the side. Connection, and then you see there's a guy sitting up for the babe. That should do. And uh, there's a little more space, so I'm going to do. I don't know, um, bike, motorbikes, and then maybe another guy. Another scooter. In a traffic. That's a, that's a guy going. Yeah, that should just give you some sense of what I'm doing. Again, these are indications, not perfect drawing colors. So if I just grab, sorry, let me just grab. I've got a little bit of watercolor pencil, pens here. So I might use uh, maybe a red, a blue, sorry, a red, blue, and a black. So I've got a um, letter set, pro marker. So one or two colors just for the pencil, sorry, for the bike. That gives you some easy victories. Obviously, this one was not a black, this is a gray. If I can look for where the black is, I can't find the black, black, black. Instant. That's right. There it is. So, I'm doing a black. That's just a black marker. Gives you uh, some. It's quicker. And there's another lady. I can probably call it as cheating, but gives you some reference on how to do it. Okay, so if you have already seen how I do people, I generally do three stages or four stages. There's a little bit of Red light, indicator, and pretty much shades of gray. You're just giving an indication of what it is, and the number plates are usually yellow. I'm going to make the red a little more prominent. I let it run. Okay. 
that B how you do the first one so I'm doing a web lady the skin and the cycle bar maybe she's wearing a designer dress her leg and there's a little bit of luggage oh I gotta stop this knocking I'll come back and then add a little more highlights. Same thing for the helmet. A little bit of red light. Let it run. and a little more right on the side that's it so same goes for the other one i'll use a slightly bigger brush helmet A little bit of person in red is wearing a half a sleeve shirt and let's do the color of the scooter a little more green don't forget the red, let it bleed in, and I'm going to complete it with and uh, let's do a blue denim pant for the guy. Okay, and I will come back and then add a little more red, red. Okay, so again, the cycle. If you're doing something simple, assuming every cycle you're using a little bit of blue, some colors. I don't know where I kept my black over right here. That's it. So same thing goes with the other drivers. I'm using a little more random colors. His hand, maybe his leg a little bit. And I'm gonna put in a, a blue shorts. And it's got 
assures okay let's do a black top okay greenish body and a little more is that so Same thing, I'm just going ahead with, with that person. Simple and effective. And little person, blue jeans, and Okay, and I can come back and then do a shadow from one side. Same thing for that lady. Let's say the dresses. Okay, moving on. Simple sketches. I'll throw in a little red, 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 just to give you the skin tone. And maybe he's wearing a black shirt. That's it. So let's do a stripy shirt for this guy. A black helmet. Deeper shadow neck. And the yellow skin tone. And blue pad, maybe. Black shoes. And when it comes to the vehicle, let it flow. That's a double light. There's a number plate and that's it. Moving forward. A little more black. Let's say that's a black vehicle. I'm going to do that and add a little bit of red. Red. Oh. I didn't mean to do red. Okay, and let's give it a typical. Blue shirt, blue pad, a little bit of skin tone, and a little more details. Okay, all right, let's come back and then give a little more shadow. And for this lady, let's do a full shadow. Make a little more darker at the contacts. For this guy, same thing. And okay. I'm not going to extend it because it's going to cut the thing. 
I should have made the shadow a little shorter. But so uh, a little more details or we'll take a little more pigment. And um, logo. I am um, and um, logo wiser light. Shape Same here, a little more detail And same here That's it. A little mud guard. And let's add a little more detail. These are small sketches. They're not detail heavy, but just enough detail. We left two more drivers in the cold. Let's do two more drivers. Just gonna bleed a little more. Okay, and then let's add a little more details too. I should do it. Okay, a little bit of skin tone. There you have it. So simple sketches to show how to do motorbikes and bicycles. As I said, make sure you watch how to draw perspective and then come to the drawing so that you understand how you build a block and then you go from there. Till next time, I, enjoy, I hope you enjoyed the show. Um, hit like to the video and consider subscribing to the video. And don't forget to hit the notification button. Till next time, happy watercolor paintings. See you next time. Bye.